This video is going to introduce you to the concept of an image map. An image map is an image that has clickable areas on it. So we're just going to create a blank page to start. This could go, an image map can go into any type of HTML page. So, you know, if it's based off your template or not, it doesn't matter. The image, you know, just like any image just has to fit in the space that you have for it. So we'll call this image map just for the demo sake. It could be named anything you want. So you have to have an HTML page and we could be inserting this into a div in our layout, but I'm just going to insert it in here, just blank. And um, I'm choosing this iStock image 197.07.409. It is very pixelated because I made it twice the size of the comp. I'm going to give it alternate text here, map of the United States. And so we have an image, just like any other web page that has an image. And then the next thing that now is about to make it unique is we click on the image and we go down here to properties. And if you don't have your properties inspector expanded all the way, you won't see what I'm about to do. So you have to expand it and I will name it map of USA. I believe this is one of those situations where you have to have um, no spaces in there. So now uh, Dreamweaver knows, or the web page, the HTML file knows, that you would like to treat this like an image map. So I can make the different states clickable. So um, why don't we go ahead and begin with, we're going to pretend that Texas is, well, no, why don't we not do that? I was going to say we'll pretend it's a square, but why don't we take the state right here? Why don't we take, or better yet, why don't we take Colorado? And we're going to take this rectangle hotspot and just go over. See, it's not a perfect fit, but, and there's a way to actually put in really clearly defined shapes, but we're going to say that that's what we want. So this is Colorado. And um, <coughs> we're going to have Colorado, that, that area linked to, um, Let's see if we can just come up with something like Colorado, the official web state web portal. Good. Okay, so we're going to have that link to colorado.gov and have it open in a new window because we don't want them to leave our site. And then Colorado's state. So we're going to describe this link. So that's using the rectangle shape. Now we'll use a circle. And now we'll pretend that Texas is a circle. And we'll just move it here. So anywhere that you see this blue, that's where things are going to be hot. So we'll go over here, state of Texas, and see if we can find something like this and copy that link, put it in here, target of blank, and the official website for the state of Texas. Okay. Now we have another kind of shape that we can work with. Oh, and by the way, if I don't like the size of this, I can click on an anchor point and I should be able to make that larger. Hold on a minute, maybe not. There, that one moves. There we go. So they're going to stay rectangles. Well, I drew a rectangle. I don't know if I can draw. Can I draw a square with that? Yeah, if you hold your shift key, you can create a square selection. And uh, with the circle tool, I think, or the circle shape, yeah, there's no, that one has to be a perfect circle. So you can get a square out of that rectangle shape, but our last one is this polygon tool. So right here, I can, I can start, and you usually want to start in the upper left corner of your shape and work your way around clockwise. So here we go. Um, I'm going to, it's telling me, it wants me to describe things and we will. 
Um, so I can click and click, and there's no clicking and dragging. You see how the shape, I could stop right now, the shape does not actually need to get closed. And so I'm clicking, I'm actually clicking over the blue stuff for the moment. There. So I get this little shape right here. And that's all hot. Okay, we'll put that there. Blank. And then our alt is the state of Arizona. Okay, so now we have three shapes. And you can have as many shapes as you want. The code behind this, the map itself ends up going, you know, you can move the map area. Just you can move that way low on the page as long as it's right it's as long as it's before the body closes. So the map doesn't have to be right with the image. But if you look here we have this rectangular shape and we have these four coordinates outlining the four corners. Here we have the circle shape and this one I think you have like radius and uh, there's like the center of the circle. Oh, I forget what the third one is. So there's yeah, it's three coordinates to make that one up. And then here the polygon this one is, I believe, it's like uh, how far over, how far down, and it just keeps doing that, how far over, how far down, and, and it keeps going, going. So I think these are a series of X and Y coordinates, though I could be wrong. It's a long time since I coded one by hand. Heaven knows we are very grateful that Dreamweaver can create a site map for us, or uh, sorry, an image map for us. So we are going to now go to Firefox, and we see here that you can't tell that there's anything happening on this uh, image until I put my mouse over somewhere that I know I made hot. And somewhere else. And there. Da -da -da. So that is how you make parts of an image hot and that is called an image map.